Like many vehicles in the Toyota family, the 2023 RAV4 is a reliable and affordable option in its segment. And if you're looking to buy one, there are quite a few trims out there from which to choose. So which one is right for you? Let's take a look at all of them and figure it out. The Toyota RAV4 is offered with a gas engine, a hybrid powertrain, and with a plug-in hybrid powertrain. With each model of the same trim, the hybrid version offers a few upgrades over the gas-only version, at least in the lower trims. For example, the hybrid models come standard with all-wheel drive, whereas the lower trim gas-only models are front-wheel drive, with all-wheel drive being available as an option. Let's run through the powertrains though first. The gas-only option features a two and a half liter four-cylinder engine that produces 203 horsepower and pairs with an eight-speed automatic gearbox. As mentioned, front-wheel drive is standard, but all-wheel drive is available as an option on the LE, XLE, XLE Premium, and Limited models. It's standard on the Adventure and TRD off-road trims though. For the hybrid, the powertrain consists of a two and a half liter four-cylinder engine, a pair of electric motors, and a small battery pack to deliver all-wheel drive and 219 horsepower. A CVT sends power to the front wheels while the rear electric motor powers the rear axle. Fuel economy for the hybrid is rated to deliver as much as 41 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Finally, there's a plug-in hybrid model referred to as the RAV4 Prime. This one gets an 18.1 kilowatt hour pack, more powerful motors, and better overall range. The powertrain delivers 302 horsepower, while the Prime is also capable of up to 42 miles of electric-only driving range. Now, for the trims, we start with the base LE model. With the gas version, you have 17-inch steel wheels with wheel covers, LED daytime running lights, fabric trim seats, with the driver's seat featuring six-way adjustability, and a chrome-tipped dual exhaust outlet out back. The hybrid LE gets 17-inch alloy wheels, active grille shutters, and low-profile black roof rails. In the cabin, both versions are nearly the same, except the hybrid LE gets dual-zone automatic climate control and an analog hybrid power meter. Each model features an 8-inch central display screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and all RAV4 models feature the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 suite of safety systems, which includes pre-collision with pedestrian detection and full-speed range dynamic radar cruise control. The base price of a 2023 RAV4 LE is $29,310. A hybrid LE starts at $32,060. Next is the RAV4 XLE, Hybrid XLE, XLE Premium, and Hybrid XLE Premium. I'm lumping these ones together, though Toyota splits out the XLE and XLE Premium. On the XLE and Hybrid XLE, you'll find 17-inch alloy wheels, LED projector headlights with automatic high beams, and an eight-way power-adjustable driver's seat. The XLE Premium models up the ante by swapping out for 19-inch alloy wheels, integrated fog lights, the seats are soft text trimmed, and the backup camera has the projected path display. Also, the rear liftgate is powered, and there's leather trim on the steering wheel and shift knob. The starting price of the 2023 RAV4 XLE is $30,820. A hybrid XLE starts at $33,570. The XLE Premium is $33,710. And finally, the hybrid XLE Premium is $36,460. Next up, we have our two gas-only models with standard all-wheel drive. These would be the Adventure and the TRD Off-Road. On the Adventure, you'll find 19-inch black alloy wheels wearing all-season tires, black plastic on the fenders, black trim on the front and rear fascias, raised roof rails, blacked-out badging, and orange accents on the interior trim. With the TRD off-road, however, Toyota takes it up a notch for a bit more capability. You downsize back to 18-inch wheels, but they get Falcon all-terrain tires. The power moonroof is standard, the shocks are painted red, and there's a TRD stamped front skid plate. You'll also find blacked out TRD badging as well. In the cabin, there are red accent pieces. The smart key system with power liftgate control is standard, and you now jump up to the larger 10 and a half inch center screen. The 2023 RAV4 Adventure is $35,505, while the RAV4 TRD Off-Road is $38,930. Moving on, we land at the RAV4 Hybrid SE and Hybrid XSE, and these trims are hybrid only. 
With the SE, you get 18 inch blacked out wheels, dual LED low and high beam headlights with LED accent lights and auto high beams, and there's a color matched shark fin antenna on the roof. Over on the XSE, you also get those 18 inch wheels, but now the exterior paint is two tone. The seats are nicer in the XSC compared to the SE, and most important is the upgrade to the 10 and a half inch display screen, while the SE uses the eight inch display. Both the SC and XSC are basically a sportier look with similar options to the XLE models and that nicer screen on the XSC as well. The 2023 RAV4 Hybrid SC is $34,755, while the Hybrid XSC is $37,720. Now we've arrived at the RAV4 Limited, which is offered as a gas only or hybrid model. With the gas version, you'll get 19 inch alloy wheels, the power moonroof, heated and ventilated front seats and dark brown interior accents. There's a 12.3 inch digital gauge display, the larger 10 and a half screen in the center, and you finally get the upgraded 11 speaker JBL premium audio system. Over on the hybrid model, you get all of that, but the wheels are 18 instead of 19s. The starting price of the RAV4 Limited is $37,615, and the Hybrid Limited is $40,635. Finally, new for 2023 is the RAV4 Hybrid Woodland Edition. It's a hybrid-only off-road model that gets a bunch of TRD engineering applied to it. The suspension is TRD tuned and features twin tube shocks with coil springs. You'll find bronze wheels with Falcon Wild Peak tires, black mud guards, custom all-weather floor and cargo mats, and blacked out badging outside. It's a fun model for some hybridized weekend warrior basic trail running, and it starts at 34,860. There's the rundown for the 2023 Toyota RAV4, so which one should you buy? Honestly, the XLE premium trim is pretty great, and you can select the larger 10 and a half inch screen as an option, which also upgrades you to the better JBL sound system as well. If you go with the hybrid and select the nicer screen and sound system, you land at 38,945 without selecting any other options. So you'd have a RAV4 with a great driving range, all wheel drive, and a nicer, comfortable interior, all for well under 40 grand. Of course, you're probably saying, uh, hey bro, what about the Prime? And you're right, I separated it out here because it's a bit more expensive. But if you can afford it, the Prime is the way to go thanks to the greatly increased power and all electric driving range. It comes in two trims, an SE and an XSE. The SE has 18 inch wheels while the XSE gets 19s. The moonroof is standard on the XSE and there's an option to upgrade to a panoramic glass roof. On the inside, both have dual zone climate control, but the SE gets the seven inch display in the gauge cluster, while the XSE gets the full 12.3 inch digital gauge display. Also, the XSE has softer trim inside, but both have heated front seats. Finally, the SE gets the eight inch center screen, while the XSE gets the 10 and a half inch display and the JBL sound system. The starting price of the SE Prime is $43,675, and the XSC Prime will cost you $47,545 to start. If you're gonna go big, go big, and get the XSC Prime over the SE thanks to the interior upgrades. Otherwise, stick with the aforementioned XLE Premium models.